In this tutorial, I am going to discuss a very important interview problem which is maximum subarray sum. So the problem statement is given an integer array, find the contiguous subarray containing at least one number which has the largest sum and return its sum. So uh, before uh, solving this problem, let's understand what is subarray. A subarray is an array that is inside another array and it should be contiguous. So if you see this array then if you take these two element one and two it forms the sub array so you can see one and two is contiguous similarly if we take minus five four and three so it's also a sub array of this array and if we take four then it's also a sub array of this array but if we take minus five then 8 and then 5 so it's not a sub array if you can see minus 5 is here and then 8 and 5 so it's not a contiguous so this is not a sub array and these three are sub array of this array so we need to find the sub array which has maximum sub so if you see this example then this is the sub array if we add each element of this sub array it will form the maximum sum and the result is 20 and similarly if you see the second example uh, so in which two elements are present minus 2 and minus 1 so the maximum sum we can obtain through this sub array so in this sub array only one element is present which is minus one so let's uh, think for a moment what's the best approach we can use to solve this problem let's discuss the solution parts and let's see how we can solve this problem efficiently and for solving this problem I have declared two variable max sum and sum sum is the sum we obtained so far sum at any point of time what's the sum at any point of time and max sum is the result we want to obtain so initially i assign a first element of an array to sum and max sum variable so one is assigned to both the variable and then i start traversing an array from index one from this index and so here's the condition part and if if at any point of time if the value of sum is less than zero then we start from the next element and else we add the value in sum variable and we, we uh, check the maximum sum after each addition to the sum variable so let's dry run this code so initially I assign the first first element of an array to sum and max sum then I start traversing an array from first index and the value of first index is 2 so the first condition is is this value of sum is less than 0 so the value of sum is 1 so it's not less than 0 so let's add 2 to the sum variable so the value is 3 now and the value of max sum is also 3 so now let's move to next index of an array and in which the value is minus 5 so the value of sum is 3 so it is not less than 0 now let's add minus 5 to this so the value is minus 2 and the value of max sum is unchanged so let's move to next index in which the value is 4 and here is the condition if the value of sum is less than 0 so the value of sum is minus 2 so it's less than 0 so discard the sum we obtained till now and let's start fresh from the next element so the next element is 4 so we assign 4 so the value of sum is 4 and the value of max sum is also 4 next uh, the value of value present at next index is 3 and if we add this value in some variables so its value is 7 
and you can see the max sum we obtain here is 7 similarly the next value is 8 let's add 8 to the sum and it's 15 and the max sum is also 15 the next value is 5 so it's 20 and the max sum is also 20 and after this element we came out of this loop and we return 20 so the time complexity of this approach is o n and this algorithm is also known as Cadness algorithm so we pronounce uh, so i write as k a d a n e so it is cadence algorithm and this is the most efficient way to find the maximum sub array sum and if let's see the main method and in in the main method i have declared an array and i am calling this method passing the passing array and whatever the result i get i just print it so if i run this code you can see the result is 20 and so that's it for this video and for more such programming video you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video